videos here at Clutch City. Yeah. Uh, uh, Qualia. Yeah, Qualia. He, uh, he sponsors Dawn and SJKF. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think that might be it. I think those are the only two right now. Um, there are a bunch of people from like his crew, I guess. Yeah. Uh, like Tap City is also considered part of his crew. Uh, Spamus, who is just on commentary, is considered Myself. part of his crew. You, you, even though you don't live there anymore. I do not live in... You in did play with them a lot when you lived in Canada. I don't live in West Houston anymore, but I helped start the spaghetti cleanup crew. You know this controller here, I just realized this is our giveaway controller for our... It's like our customized controller. I know, and I love that A button. Right? Mm. It's a, it's I'll, show, I'll show it next time. I'll show it next Smash time U when logo. So we got John John. And I missed the other guy's tag. John John shirt. Woo! Woo! <laughs> John John, um... Notorious memer. <laughs> he's, he's a goofball. He's a goofball. I feel like Houston, Texas is home of the goofball, though. He is. Mojo, John John, Jedi Jake, all of them. Jake 13. Jake 13 can be a goof. Don can be a goof. Don can absolutely be a goof. <laughs> Brentos can be a goof. Again, I don't live in Houston anymore, unfortunately. I live in Dallas. You're now. still ours. Dallas is a great scene, though. But Amazing. you're still ours. I, I still claim Houston. Absolutely. And we still claim you. Dallas has a amazing smashing though with Tourney Locator who is out here streaming for us. Yeah, shout outs to Tourney Locator, man. So Jeff Sphere versus John John. Okay. I think I have seen Jeff Spear Jeff Sphere around uh, at least a little. Uh, John John rocking the Uzumaki yes. uh, crew tag. <laughs> and John John, I am almost 100% positive that he loves this matchup because he is of the mindset that Falcon is bad. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, he did just uh, beat Thai in a money match, so. He is a Fox purist. Fox is the only character viable, according to John John. No reason to play any other character. Yeah. Um, which is funny because his brother's a Falco. Yes. But he's already taken a clean stock. Yeah. Uh, it just was like, it wasn't anything crazy, right? It just kind of looked like solid play from John. Jab John up just smash. Takes it, yeah. And that's going to be another one. Shine Spike. His running Shine is the bane of Falcon. Yeah. Um, John John, you know, fairly, like, I feel like he's not even that technical, right? He's just in the right place at the right time, a lot of these. He's not technical. He has really good spacing. Yeah. That was uh, a really good combo extender with the wave dash back up tilt. Yeah. I love that. I love that combo extender a lot. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh Randall. Randall with the save. Yeah, Randall the homie, but he gets it again. Oh, my goodness. Now, that was just ridiculous. Uh, that was one of those soul-crushing edge guards where you're just like, ah. Just shine spike immediate up the end of the ledge. Yeah. Just and right now, Jeff Spear needs to just try not to get fourth card. You know, you need to keep that momentum going into game two. Yes. If you want if you want to win. Okay. Uh, he went for the Falcon went, Punch, which would have been oh. godlike if he got it. Now, he did almost drift into that up to give him a second chance at life, but unfortunately, no. Does not make it. And uh, that's going to be a four stock for John John. <coughs> so, pretty rough first game. Uh, I don't really agree with him striking to Yoshi's. And I know if he had tried to go to Battlefield, John John would have been fine with that. I think Falcon definitely wants the bigger stage, and Yoshi's not not the bigger stage. Fox is godlike on Yoshi's. Yeah. He has way too many perfect options. Low yeah. blast zones, just. And he's like Fox. he's fast enough to keep up with Falcon, so you can't get away from him that easily either. Exactly. <clears throat> so we're gonna go to Final Destination. I would say that is a pretty good counter pick. Uh, now we're gonna see maybe his tech chase game. Uh, Jeff's here. Um, ops not for it that time. Now, depending on your playstyle, this can be a great pick or a terrible pick, right? Ooh. And already we're seeing just John John. Just running a truck, basically. Yeah. It's, it's, this is <clears throat> a good shield grab to get out of that combo, but. This space, the up smash. So, I, I'm noticing this now. He's, I think he's panicking a little, Jeff Sphere. I think uh, so those too. side Bs are yeah. definitely not a good look. Uh, super over commitment. 
and it's just getting him punished, pretty much all of them. Uh, he might have hit one or two, I think, in the last game. He hasn't. I don't think he's hit a single one this game. This is another one there, and See, it's just giving him up position, really. He's he trying to tech chase with the root raptor boost, right. and uh, it's just really not working out for him. Yeah, and he's trying to shield grab too much and getting really badly punished off of that too. That's I've a noticed. solid reverse knee, though. And yep, and he does get the stock just there. Hold ledge, so no four stock today. Actually, not even that much of a deficit. It's really not. Uh, yeah, Falcon does have that ability to zero to death, as we call it, John and stuff. Yes. And that up here is going to take it clean zero to death from John John. Now, because Falcon hits hard, he can I still he can come back. Right, absolutely. But what we saw from game one and we're seeing right now, John John is just completely outplaying him. Yeah. So it's going to be rough. And he's, and he's still trying to use the Raptor boost. Uh, he's trying to rely on it too much. Um, you know, it's it's something that works maybe a couple times in a game or a couple times in a set. Yes. Or if if you get a really good read and you know what's up, like, but it's not something that can be used to approach. Right. You can get really good mix-up tech reads with Raptor Boost, but you don't want to throw it out constantly. Right. And, and he's he's also trying to punish tech in place with down smash, and John John has not fallen for it once. Right. You know. Um, John John just moonwalking around him. Just yeah, John John showing off a little bit of his movement here, actually. <laughs> clinks, clinks the Raptor Boost with a shine. Ooh, getting re grabs. Uh, I think he wanted the DI the in there the to get that knee, but he, uh, John John DI out, so didn't quite get that. And this is Edge Guard opportunity. Shine turn around, Nair's gonna take it. Yeah, nice turn around, Nair. <coughs> and that was a clean 2 0. Yep. John John, uh, I believe is number one seed in his pool. Yeah, he's uh, he's showing. He just showed it in that game, and I believe that was round one. So you know, Jeff Spear is going to have Jeff Spear is going to have a chance. That's a tongue twister, man. Yeah. He'll have a chance in losers. So you know, it's not it's not the end of the road just yet for old Jeff Spear. Show uh, this controller. We're going to show off our controller. Look at this controller. So this I believe is a giveaway that we're doing. Um, it's a customized controller. You can see that the A button right here. Oh. A little closer. There we go. There you go. We got the Smash United logo and the A button. Yeah. Uh, we themed our colors around the uh, old school rocket colors from the yeah. 90s. Yeah. Uh, and of course, Clutch City is what Houston was called during those years when they were uh, winning. Houston. Yeah. They back to back. Yeah, the back to back champs hitting those uh, Clutch buzzer beaters. So we obviously themed Clutch City a lot after that. You know, we named ourselves Clutch City, even though we haven't ever really.